Hi guys, Bacchus Bruce got the 2019 Tintoretto Sangiovese. Uh, this is actually Sicilian juice, if you can believe that, uh, coming uh, uh, from the south of Italy. Uh, Sangiovese is typically not something you see grown down in Sicily. It's pretty hot, uh, though Sangiovese really is a, a pretty adaptable varietal. and. Uh, uh, I uh, l love labels with pigs, I guess. And that's just a personal thing. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out the nose. So at this point in time, it's it's really tough to kind of make anything out on the nose. It's pretty closed. Um, getting a, a little bit of a, a, like a menthol thing with a, a, some of that nice uh, typical Sangiovese cherry fruit um, coming through. Uh, there is a nice wet kind of granite minerality to it. But again, not a whole lot to really go off of. It's pretty young, 2019, and might develop as, uh, as the years go by. But let's check out the palette. So the wine is, is, is pretty good. Um, not had a Sangiovese uh, from Sicily before. It has a nice juiciness. It has a nice kind of uh, ripe red uh, cherry component, um, almost like a spiced fruit uh, uh, with a little bit of licorice, more of that kind of menthol component. Uh, light to medium bodied. It's a, a fairly soft wine. It's pretty approachable. Uh, it does have a kind of a, a dustiness to it. But again, it's not a super complex Sangiovese, and it's not going to wow you. It doesn't really have that depth of flavor that we get with some of the nicer bottlings uh, that we'll find. And maybe at $20, maybe a little bit overpriced, uh, honestly. But nonetheless, it's a, it's a pretty good bottle of wine, which, again, is going to go fantastic with your, uh, your spaghetti and meatballs. The uh, 2019 Tintoretto Sangiovese coming out of Sicily via Napa. See you in the tasting room.